Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We're here in Elkhart, Indiana, showcasing all the new 2024s that it has with Thor's. We're taking a look at new brands, new floor plans, and new interior and exterior designs. So it's gonna be an amazing time. Guys, it's one of the biggest displays in the whole show. So I don't really know what we're gonna be looking at, but we're gonna be taking a look at it all live. Will, how are you? Doing good. Happy to be here at Open House. Yes, excuse me. Sorry. No, no, you're good. So this is a new Thor Tranquility. We don't need to pop in. Yeah. But look at the floor plan there. It's a four seater right there. I'm oh, sorry Very about nice. that. Well, we're in the oh, way. Sorry. Sorry about that. Give me uh, two seconds, give me two minutes. You're totally fine. But uh, <laughs> that's a new four seater on the extended cam trap, uh, extended cap Tranquility. Here's the Thor Sanctuary. This is a new floor plan as well. It is a 19R. And this is what we're seeing a lot right now, Will. We're seeing simpler floor plans in For these sure. B vans, making them smaller, making them more compact. Not necessarily per se in having a dedicated bedroom area, but something that's, you know what it is? It's like more like mobile offices. Yeah, for sure. Nice little Mercedes B van. And again, well, I don't think we'll be able to stop in everything. Right, there's a lot of Thor here. There is a lot of Thor. Oh, so we're just going to go with what we see. We're gonna walk around and if I see something the cool stuff. new or exciting, exactly, yeah. exactly. So this definitely one, this is a Chateau Sprinter. We do get these in every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, I do like the full body paint. I love paint. the paint, yeah. And then this is the 24 LV floor plan that has the two twin beds in the rear. Check it okay. out, Bill. Nice Mercedes chassis, bunk over the cab. Sofa right here. Sorry, excuse me, decent sized kitchen. Split bath. And the whole rear just turns into a nice big bed. I love that. And then some that you're gonna see, well, it's gonna be very similar to the Four Winds, their sister products. Right, right. And then in this display, you're gonna see brands like this, the Echelon. Echelon, Echelon. How do you think it's pronounced? Echelon. Echelon. Um, and you're like, wow, I've never even heard of that or seen that. This was a private label. Correct. Um, at, it's just a private label. But if you can see here how it says Echelon LC, it's going to be very, very, very similar to the Quantum LC. LC. And Quantum, we do sell this at our Tampa store and a few other stores nationwide. I love the outside kitchen. I love the inside as well, Will. <clears throat> when it comes to interior designs, Quantum always does a kick butt job. They do. And look at this. They're doing the Murphy design. Right. A more spacious living area. Yeah. It's a good idea. A lot of people like the Murphy. I mean, I don't know that anybody says they like it, but a lot of people are okay with it. No, a lot of people like it. Well, yeah. And then and, it gives and they don't a need lot to be, more space in here. Right. They don't need to be at 24 or 25 feet. They don't mind a 30 footer. You right. Know? Exactly. This is very nice. If you turn around, you can see how big it's spacious right it it's great thor quantum class c bunk over the cap you still have that front windshield or no you do very nice and well you want to know something i love about the open house what i love the fact that we can walk in these units the lights are on the ac's right. are on we don't have to lift a finger right now we do need to maneuver some yeah a little bit of walking but i mean take a look at this so here's you want to know what kind of upsets me america this is a three-day event yeah and thor industries does this forest river does this everybody does this but look at these this is every floor plan right we could literally do our whole year's job i know right if we had this set up for us for two weeks maybe yeah well probably more than that i don't know man 365 videos uh, well you know you know what i'm saying well you know what i'm saying okay check this out four wins this is something that's new that's cool. So you typically see this on a travel trailer. No, you see this on the 22 footers. Right. But this one's right, a longer right. one. Yeah, that's oh, cool. What do you think this floor plan name is going to be called? Which one? This one? This one. I'm going to say it's going to be called a 25C. What do 25C? You think? What do you think? Oh, there it is. It's called a 26X. Ah. 
look at this floor plan design. Again, a slide out room, just a sofa. Right. I like this. Check that out, Will. Okay. This is the four way, it's the same as the Chateau. Yeah. Models 26X. Nice kitchen. Flip down bed right there. And the bathroom right here. Guys, drop a comment down below. You gotta let General RV know. Well, what are you doing with the camera? Trying to hold it more of your height. <laughs> I'm not that short. Yeah, no, th right. thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, you're talking as I'm coming down the stairs. Let Comment down below. Let us know if the 26X, show this floor plan again. Let, us, let, let General RV know if you're interested in a floor plan like this. The reason why the manufacturers, Thor Industry and Forest River, put on these shows is so that the dealership representatives come here can actually see them yourself. Yep, get some and feedback. And that's who's buying this week. Right, right. The dealerships are buying their inventory to sell to you guys. So you guys got to comment below. Let, let let people know if you like it or not. Hello. How you doing? Good. How's How it going? All right, walking down. We do have some generic floor plan. 28A with no slide out. Yep. Very cool. That company. Oh, good. dang. That's a nice looking paint job on that company. <clears throat> that is. So here's the outlaws. We're not going to show them because we just showed the 2024 yeah, outlaws at Hershey. the other day at the Hershey yeah. show. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. But Will, I'm loving this paint job. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, for those of you who don't know, check this out. The Compass is what we would call B-plus motorhome. Yeah. It's just on the Ford Transit. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker. No bunk over the cab, a smooth profile. What I like about it, Will, is that it's this much wider than a B van on both sides, but on the inside, you're gonna feel so much space. Yep. And this unit, this sucker nice here window. has a full wall slide. I love that. Very nice. Nice dinette, kitchen, Murphy style bed here. Hey Murphy, how you doing? And the bathroom right there. There you go. Yes, sir. Well, these days, it's funny because we made it till like two o'clock today, three o'clock today. Doing good. Yeah. And I was fully energetic. Now it's starting to wear on me some. It's the end of the day. Well, you know what I said? Well, it's about four thirty. I said, listen, when you compare this to the Hershey show, yeah, this is, this not is nothing. That. But yet, I'm still tired for some reason. And for those of you who don't know, who's looking at my lips, thinking that I'm some sort of mutant that's infected. I did get sunburned on my lips, just so everybody knows. Well, you got sunburned everywhere, but... Right, I got, yeah, yeah. I got sunburned everywhere, but my lips, it's such fragile skin, and now it keeps splitting. Hey, George. What's going on, man? You want to be on camera? No. Nah. Okay. Well, you're on camera. Well, it's good. <laughs> you want to say anything? Yeah, did you see the Wild Wild West edition? We, we saw that. We at, did, uh, yeah. Oh, at Hershey. Hershey. At Hershey. Hershey, yeah. How did, how did it do? Did well. Good. Did well. Good. You know, it's uh, quite a bit less money than a full body paint. Right. Yeah. Right. For yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us here. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. We're going to take a look at everything else. Good. Great to good. see you. Yep. All right. Door access. Again, we've seen this floor plan, but again, with that rear door looking very nice. It's really cool. Yeah. There's Garrett. Look at this guy. When this, this guy's Bud's Lightyear in his youth. Sure. Good. Say say who you are. Garrett Lebatowski with Thor Motor Coach. Linebacker. Uh, former. <laughs> former linebacker. Back in the day. And then are you still making your own YouTube videos? Every once in a while. It's been a little, a little over a year. Okay. You haven't published in over a year? Yeah. How many subscribers do you have? 14, 15,000? Dude. 14,000 and he doesn't slacking. even put in any work. I know. Right. But, but your videos get like hundreds of thousands of views for some That's reason. That's one's got like 1.2 million or something. Unreal, unreal. Learn from the best. No, shout out. No, you don't do <laughs> videos like I do. Shout no. out your YouTube channel name. Garrett Lebertowski. Perfect. That's my name. And what are you repping now? Magnitude Omni, Delano, Tiburon, Hurricane, and Resonate. Well, what do you want to show us? Tiburon right here. We got the new 24XL. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So, big thing on this. Oops, I don't like it. This has the most carrying capacity out of the entire lineup. Okay. Nice. So even with auto leveling and diesel gen, we're over 1,200 pounds carrying capacity. Nice. It's always unit specific. Uh, but nice thing on the back is to pass through storage all the way through at the hangers if need. Very nice. That's very European, Garrett. It is. So we went to the Dusseldorf RV show, 
and this was just like 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 this is like special mm -hmm. that's on every unit over there yeah because they, they all have their like their bikes and everything really yeah oh yeah for sure you're starting to see it more in states now too i mean yes every brand you are yeah well, yes right? i love it then inside here <clears throat> it's gonna be theater seating twin beds converts to a cave all techno form cabinetry, so made in Italy. Soft clothes. Very nice. So it's new. Very nice. Good size shower. That's where we reviews first. Garrett messed up the live video. We had to cut because he gave us some groundbreaking news that we just can't publish with you guys. But we're happy for you. Thank you. It's good news. It's not bad news. Yes. Nice. And then we have on the 24 FB, the 24 TT, the theater seating option instead of the dynamic. Okay, cool. Well, we don't need to see them. We're trying to keep it as brief as we oh, can. Yeah. Can you show us the magnitude? Yes. Yes. See the new blackout package? That's what America no, wants that's what to we see. Want to see. And the new AX29. Oh, yeah. Let's take a, take a look at both. But um, but tell everybody what, what you just said about the 24 TT and FB. So 24 FB, 24 TT, instead of the dinette, you can option in theater seating. Oh, Power cool. Theater seating. Okay. Okay, Omni here. Yeah, well, the magnitude's going down. Mm, yeah, the blackout package does look good. good doesn't it does, it? yeah. The magnitude starts here, it's gonna be your RS36. So a few things we did, you'll probably see it better on this one over here. Yeah. So we kept the Ford, a uh, Ford front. Okay. We took off the body kit that we added on. Okay. So you got the Ford bumper, and you also oh, have the redesigned like grill. Yeah, no, I, I do like that better. But wait, were you guys doing the metal one? Yeah, I did like the metal. Oh, we did, we was it metal? We're doing metal. We had it was a fiberglass. No, no, no. Um, Integra is doing the metal. Integra, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is no. it that's fiberglass no, too? That's I, Ford. I prefer yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, that's metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I prefer if you're not gonna do that big military style, mm -hmm. then I do like this better. Okay, that's one. The blackout wheels. Yep. So new paint scheme for 24, but then this is the new AX29 floor plan. You're probably familiar with this floor plan. It Dude, is we were just bed. talking about it. Yeah, well, yeah. This is what people are wanting. They they they, they want the Murphy bed and the dinette. Yeah. They don't mind it being a little longer. Check out right. the inside. Okay. Again, nice cockpit area, 500 pound, bunk over the cab. Nice. Nice dinette, great wow. kitchen space. Let me show you how this bed works. Let me get a look. Right here, this is storage underneath. Oh, so cool. Nice storage. Yep. Nice. Then these open up here and here. So you don't have any like legs that you have to worry about. And then it's the arrow lock. So turn the key, push a button. Voila. There you go. Simple. Nice support. Get some ventilation. Yep. Now, is this a prototype? No. Nice. Is there a weight limit on that? We actually don't have a weight limit on it. Okay. You want us to test we're, we're it? Here, you want oh, us to help find it? Yeah. No, no, no. We're not gonna <laughs> test it. That's funny. It's not bad, though, right? Yeah, very cool. That's the shortest floor plan. Yeah. If you wouldn't have showed us that, we would have never figured that out about the sofa. No? Right. Yep. Hey, that's but why. now we know. That's why you got to tune into the whole show. That that way you, you, you know, you know. Yep. Now, are you also Inception rep or uh, Pasadena not. rep? I'm not. No? Okay. We're still going to They have a new okay. chassis, new model of your chassis. Okay, so, so what's going on there? I don't know. What just more technology, you think? There's more, they, more comfort features. Like, there's more creature comforts buttons cool fun stuff well we're gonna take a look at it and uh before we do let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode guys it is officially summertime the sun's out guns out and it is absolutely hot that's why i'm bringing you this special message from our friends at rvmatches.com the one thing that's worse than having a warmer camper or hot summer days is having an uncomfortable night sleep when you're tossing and turning our friends at rvmatches.com they make the absolute best mattresses for their rvs the aurora lux mattress which is the mattress, mattress that we have has this cooling fiber technology which is scientifically proven 
to keep the mattress cool so you're not going to be tossing and turning all night you're going to get a cool night's sleep it's absolutely amazing it was one of my favorite features about having a mattress from rvmattress.com guys rvmattress.com makes mattresses specifically for rvs they get shipped to your house and their factory is based out of arizona so you know it is kick button awesome if you guys want to get a new mattress for your rv click my link down below and use promo code matt to get 25 percent off your purchase big shout outs to rvmatches.com for sponsoring this awesome video stay cool this summer y'all let's continue the video just like that well we're back all right now we're taking a look at this past you know? And it looks like they're doing the Black Dell package right, as well. Right, looks good. Looks really good. Um, I, I've seen a few brands doing this now. And so I'm wondering if there's like a supply chain issue with like Chrome or something. Maybe. Um, but like the Black, the special Midnight Edition or Blacked Out Edition is only special if not everybody's doing right, it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, like look down <clears throat> and it's like all right. blacked out. But the, I saw something I liked. With this? Yeah, this chassis looks good, actually. Oh, it's the S2RV chassis, Will. Yeah, but it's changed. It's a miracle. What was it always changed? leather? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you. I, <sighs> I don't think it was leather before. I don't think it had that. Well, that's definitely something that Thor does there. This? Yeah. Okay. These seats are definitely new. Okay. I like it, though. Well, if you give me the camera. I like how big you are and how much yeah, spa and more spacious you have. Forward. Yep. But um, no, what's really nice is obviously this chassis was originally built for, you know, truckers or like box trucks and stuff like that. But what's cool is obviously the RV industry is demanding it enough. They're trying to make it a little more comfortable for RVers, you know? I love it. Yeah. I love it. We do have a huge bunk over the cab that holds 800 pounds. This definitely, I call this the bubble bunk, Will. It's yeah. definitely a bigger oversized bunk. It is. Right over here, we do have a very nice dinette. Mm -hmm. um, there's the Pasadena and Inception, their sister products. With General, we do sell the Pasadena. Right here, we do have the very nice theater seats. Okay. Watch your step there, Will. I know. Solid surface countertop, residential style refrigerator right here, which yep. is very nice. Right over here, we do have bunk beds that flip up out of the way, and it does convert for storage. Okay, it looks like washer dryer prep, which is kind of weird. Will. No, this right unit here. It's not washer dryer prep. Because it has a washer dryer. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> Over here, we got king size bed, tilt to view bed and everything. Nice storage right here. TV, storage all underneath here and everything. Okay. Very, very nice unit. Sounds good. You ready to see the next one? Sure. All right. <clears throat> and if you guys could. If you guys could drop a, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you like these what's new for 2024's videos. If you guys want us to do it again next year. They're kind of sloppy and kind of all over the place, but also very informative. All right, continuing down. <clears throat> now we're going to take a look at some of the Class A diesels. Um, obviously, there's a new store Resignate, which is sister products to the Ace. Uh, I believe we sell these at one of our stores. Oh, and they got the Luminate as well. So nice. Let's see if there's a new Luminate floor plan. This is the all new Palazzo GT, which is their take on making the Palazzo a bit cheaper, more okay. affordable. Andre and I did do a review and that will be coming soon. Okay. So we will check that out shortly. And then... So here's the Luminate. Very nice. Indigo. Yeah, these are, I'm not seeing new floor plans. Well. Right, and right. That's really what I want to try to keep try this video to too. This is a new floor plane. Okay. Oh, and somebody's in there, so we'll wait. Okay. But um, this pretty much, this is the like the 29M floor plane. Right. So they've taken the Luminate still with the big tires and they shrunk it down to a very, very nice floor plan. Take a look at the that inside. That is cool. <clears throat> what do you think? Very nice. I love the theater seat. Dinette. Yeah, it's still this good is size a nice kitchen. floor plan. This is a great floor plan, yeah. Nice mid-bathroom. And 
pantry space. Great bedroom. I really like this floor plan a lot, actually. Well, I like it too. And here's what I like. So many times in these smaller motor homes, you're not getting the full body paint. You're not getting the 22.5s. You're not getting the solid surface. Right. This is still giving you the Luminate features with that smaller footprint. And you can get this one, which I call that the dragon scales. Or was it fish scales? I think fish I called it. scales. Oh, like a silver koi fish. Mm -hmm. And then you can get this one as well. Very nice. Yep. E-series chassis, really nice screens and everything. Everything that you want in here. I love it. Let's take a look at some diesels. But that's the Wild West edition of the Outlaw. Right. Which again is to help bring that price point down on the Outlaw. Yep. If you guys haven't seen our video at the Hershey Show, definitely check that one out. Yeah. All right. And then we'll pop in. We're gonna pop into the Palazzo that Andre and I did a review on down there. Okay. Unless I see a completely new floor plan. Here's the Aria 4000, which is always super popular. Um. Yeah, that's been like one of their most popular for oh, a yeah, long time. For sure, for sure. Let's see if there's a, there has to be a new Aria floor plan. Yeah, you would think. You would hope. 3901. Maybe so, not. Yeah, 3401. So let's not hop into any of the Aria. Okay. We'll take a look at the Riviera, which is the sister products to the Aria. Okay. And then this is going to be the Riviera 4000. So we'll hop in this one so everybody can see. Yeah. And then I'll show you that Palazzo if nobody's in it, because that's the one Andre and I did a review on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, if you have a family. This is it. These yeah. are beautiful. Huge couch right there. I love that. Nice big dinette as well. Look at that kitchen space. Yeah, tons of countertop space. The interior design and style in here, Will, is phenomenal. It is. Nice big uh, refrigerator and pantry. Bunks right here. A little more closet space. Bathroom, full bath right here. Nice big bedroom here with a washer dryer already installed. And then the second full bath right here. Well, you said it correctly. Class A diesel pusher, 360 horsepower Cummins engine, bunk beds with two full bathrooms. That's huge. But really, one of the biggest parts, if you back up, please, is how well this living room area yeah. flows. Because again, when you have bunk beds, you're having a lot of people in here. You are. So the kitchen flows the really slides. well. The the you have the uh, dinette area. Both of these seats are going to swivel, which makes it so it's not going to feel as cramped. Yep, yeah, for sure. And you know what I don't see here, well. What's that? Any Venetians or Tuscanies? I was thinking that. I, I know. wonder if they're discontinuing them. Maybe for they are. I don't know. And then this passport, or not passport, this um, Palazzo. Palazzo GT is extremely nice. Hello? Go on in. All right. Now, the Palazzo is a little bit um, more cost effective than the Ario, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. And then this being the Palazzo The GT, GT is even more. Correct. This has to be probably one of the cheapest Class A diesels on the oh, market. Oh, down. MS, MSRP's at 339. 339,000? Yes. Yeah. And again, guys, that's just MSRP. That's not sale price. But what I love about this floor plan is, again, how open it feels. It is, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, as big as motorhomes are, they're not as spacious as mid -tiers. Right. So to have something that, you know, is big and spacious and airy is really, really important. And I like it. Yeah. Guys, that's it. That's the video. You know what? Thor actually went by faster than what I thought it would. It did, yeah. Um, I think the big thing was there wasn't too many different brands or changes. No, right. Which again, when you have a display this big, that's kind of a good thing, at mm -hmm. least for us. Guys, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you like the what's new for 24, if you like the changes, if you like videos like this. 
If you do, we'll definitely come back again for 2025. And then make sure you guys also tune in because we are doing some reviews here. We're not trying to kill ourselves. Right. But like we did do a full review on this unit and uh, that will be coming to you guys sometime next week. Will, what do you want to say to America? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's so exciting seeing what's um, new and upcoming from Thor. Make sure to let us know mm. down in the comments. Let us know some of the things you're liking and what you're not liking. Um, and then make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.